Hello and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today we're going to have a quick look at one of the latest Motu audio interfaces. This is the 624. It's a well spec interface that uh, comes in terms of analog. You get uh, two mic inputs on the back, you get uh, two guitar inputs on the front, and you get a further four uh, line inputs on jack on the back. So that makes it an eight input analog device. I think the guitar is a little bit of a cheat. I'd rather see four mic inputs, but I guess if you want that, then Motu would like you to buy the 1248, the big brother um, to this. But there you go. Similarly, on the output side, you get two outputs designated main and you get uh, a further four analog uh, line outputs there on the full size jack. And then you get your stereo headphone output with its own control there. So I guess they'd say that's your eight outputs. So there you are, eight analog in, eight analog out. You also get fairly standard ADAT in and out on optical. The connection to your computer is uh, high spec because you get both USB 3 and you get Thunderbolt on there. And uh, the USB 3, they, they supply a really tidy uh, USB 3 cable in the box. And I advise you to use that because I have had problems with cheap USB cables. And then the icing on the cake, this is one of their uh, networking interfaces, AVB or AVB TSN, time sensitive networking as people are now calling it is available on the, the standard Ethernet port on the back. And that really is um, a good goodie, as it were. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, in the future. So we're going to plug it in. You've got your standard, uh, your standard wall power supply. And uh, we'll plug that in. And um, I do this just because um, you do get a nice, uh, a, a nice screen on there. It's not the biggest screen in the world, but it is a nice color screen and it's uh, high definition. And uh, when I plug this in, you'll notice actually it's booting and it takes a while to boot. And I, I worried about that at first, but then I thought, well, actually in here, there's a full um, uh, 48 channel DSP mixer and loads of routing and stuff because of the networking. And that's all controlled by a web interface. So maybe it's not surprising that it takes a little bit longer to boot than maybe you're used to in a, in a standard off the shelf uh, USB audio interface. But there it is. It's, um, it's booted now. Now what I'm going to do, um, just to uh, show you what it's like. It's hard to see from there, I guess. But I'll, I'll plug a mic in uh, to mic one. And uh, you can see you get a nice uh, green signal strength meter on there. And, and, I, and I can assure you the definition is quite high. I can see the sample rate. And I can see optical in and out on there as well as the analog in and out. And um, uh, if I reach to the, the control, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but as I take the control of the channel, uh, the display changes and I get an, an indication of the amount of gain I'm putting in and I also get um, a nice big fat um, audio level bar graph. So although the screen isn't massive, the detail on there is uh, well worth having and um, I would uh, commend them for that. So that's the standard features um, of the box and I suppose the jewel in the crown is the uh, the AVB dimension. Let me just unplug the mic um, so I can turn this around and talk about AVB. AVB uses standard Ethernet cables, so um, that's the first thing. Second thing, AVB is standard on all modern Macs, and that is just brilliant because that means you don't need USB, you don't need uh, Ethernet, just plug, uh, you don't need uh, Thunderbolt, just plug an Ethernet cable in there, plug the other end into your Mac, and it does work um, on a Thunderbolt um, converter. Uh, and then you can put this 100 meters away if you want. You don't need drivers, there's none of that malarkey, you just plug it in and away it goes, which is brilliant in itself. But the real beauty of it is the, the networking dimension. So if I have a second device, I can put that 100 meters away. Motu have got a huge range of different devices. And I then connect those two devices over um, the ethernet and uh, I don't need a switch or anything. And then I connect this via the USB or the Thunderbolt. And now all of a sudden, all the inputs and outputs on that device are available on this one and vice versa. Um, inside the web app, um, you can, uh, there's a routing page which allows you to route any of the inputs and outputs on here to there and vice versa. And uh, because each device has this 48 channel mixer, I can send mixes back and forth. Um, and, and it's got uh, rudimentary compression and uh, reverb on there as well. So uh, there really is uh, 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 beginning to be power options there. But not just that, if I, because it's a network, if I put a switch, I can then plug in multiple um, multiple AVB devices and Motu tell me they've had a network carrying 512 channels of audio. I'll take their word for it, but maybe with a slight pinch of salt. Um, 
the, 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 the networking dimension is worth saying one thing. AVB, unlike Dante, is not just bog standard Ethernet. In the Dante network, you can um, you, you, you can use standard switches, although I, I you know the story I hear is that you need um, you probably need to be careful in your choice. But but to AVB has got different hardware protocol in the switch in order to guarantee latency, in order to guarantee synchronization and all that. The switch is a special switch, an AVB one. Uh, there are other uh, switches available, but Motus is probably the one you'd buy. It's 400 quid in the UK, which is a bit steep, I think, for a five input switch. But hey ho, then you can add device upon device upon device up to your five and Motu have a huge range. They've got stage boxes, monitor mixes, analog inputs, digital inputs of all manner. And I, I've got another video online with a review of the M64, which is a great MADI box that also supports AVB TSN. If you've got some MADI kit you'd like to integrate into your network. So if I was looking at this as a standard off the shelf, you know, USB three Thunderbolt interface, I'd probably say it's a little bit expensive for what it's got, particularly the, the two mic inputs issue. But what is really attractive is the opportunity to extend uh, your investment over AVB. So you buy this now, you want to add more mic amps in the future, you can. You want to add digital inputs and outputs, you can. You want to add, you know, whatever you want to add pretty much, you can do that here. So it's it's an interface that you buy and enjoy now, but the great thing really is um, in, in the protection of your investment for the future. Do check out my other video uh, on the M64. And if you want to look at the words um, and lots of other reviews and things, that's ppm6.tv on the net. So there you are, the Moto 64. Thanks for watching PPM6 TV. Bye now.